Okay, so I just washed my hair so it's like stuck to the side of my face. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to my kitchen. Wait, we never film my kitchen. I don't know why I would say welcome back to my kitchen. We're never in here. Like, ever. I'm going to be showing you two supplements today that help with growing the booty. Something we all want to do. Growing the booty is just one of those hot topics we all want to know. Is there a faster way to do it? Is there other things we should be doing besides squats? And the answer is yes. Things you can take before you work out or things while you're working out or after you work out that are going to take care of that muscle that you just worked out at the gym or you take classes like me. All those things are great, you know, don't get me wrong. We need to still work out to grow muscle, but just growing muscle and then doing nothing with it and not taking care of the proper nutrition is not going to help you get a bigger butt. So the two of them go together. The nutrition, eating right, and taking some of the things I'm gonna to mention today, and working out. The first supplement that I wanna talk about is whey protein. It's actually a workout just lifting this thing. Yeah. So I'm using BPI's Whey HD Protein. The reason why I like this Whey HD one is because it doesn't have fillers and other crap in it. It says it like right on the side here. So if you're new to fitness and you're new to dieting, you might be saying, why would I even need Whey Protein? You know, I went to the gym already. I did my squats. Why do I need to come home and have, you know, Whey HD, for example? Why do I do that? Well, the reason is because, okay, so say I went to the gym and I did my squats, which I'm actually gonna do it later today. <laughs> so I go to the gym and do my squats, right? I worked out my glutes, my muscles are sore. I'm getting home and my muscles are now hungry for nutrients. So what do I do? I have my Whey HD and that helps build the muscle and take care of it and repair it so you can keep working out. Since I was just working out, this supports muscle growth. Um, so you might be saying, but can I just come home and have chicken or something else with a lot of protein? That's a good question if that's what you're thinking. Well, the reason why you want to have a protein shake right after you're done working is because this absorbs into our body faster than food would. So it's, that's why people will say like, you know, they make a shake and they bring it to the gym and right away they have it to go right into their body and get absorbed by the muscle and their body absorbs it quickly. You know, I live pretty close to the gym, so I don't worry about that as much. Like, I don't worry about bringing the protein shake to the gym. So what I do is I mix a scoop of this with unsweetened almond milk, and I put it in my blender, which is currently missing, but it's that thing right there. Um, I put it in my blender with ice and with one banana, or a half banana, whatever we have. It's, seriously, it's like having a milkshake. You know, when you're on a diet, you crave all sorts of like crazy things. So this flavor is peanut butter ice cream bar, and it's so good. It's like it's like having a milkshake, but whatever protein you go with, whatever you want to pick and choose, you know, that's up to you, but make sure you get one that is not high in sugar. So that's the first product that I take is Whey HD protein powder. I just think it's one of those things that if you don't want to spend a lot of money with fitness products and you're just getting into it and you just kind of want to say like, let me make sure I'm going to stick with this before making a huge investment, Go with a protein shake. It doesn't just have to be an after the gym day, like on my days off from the gym, I'll have that for breakfast and it you know, tastes so good. And that way I'm getting in my protein. The second supplement that I take and the last one that we're gonna talk about is seriously like magic. The amount of stuff that this does is amazing. Now there's like superfoods out there, like blueberries, for example, they're antioxidants, they can help with weight loss, they help with skin, they help with you know aging, they help with all sorts of things. That's it, it's like the, the list goes on. You Google BCAA and you will see all the different things it does. So BCAAs are amino acids. Anytime you guys see me drinking that blue drink, that's what it is. You mix this in with water and it turns blue. So pretty much everyone in the fitness community, I'm sure there's like a few people that don't, but okay, let's just say for the majority of people in the fitness community, we love BCAAs. Not only do they do like a bunch of good stuff, but they're really yummy, like they're really sweet. So this is my favorite flavor. It's the one with the snow cone on it and it's called Arctic Ice. It seriously tastes like a 7-Eleven slushy or like the blue Kool-Aid, like it is so sweet and it really helps me with my sweet tooth craving. The main purpose of taking a BCAA is for muscle soreness and recovery. I was actually hiking with a friend yesterday who dances for the NBA and I was drinking my blue drink out of my water bottle and she's like, what are you drinking? I'm like, a BCAA. And she's like, oh my gosh, I need those on leg day. I'm like, yeah, exactly. 
the reason why that helps with the glutes is, okay, so you go, you work out your glutes. Now the next time it's time to work them out, maybe you do it every other day, maybe you just work them out every few days, and you know, do your squats, build that booty, you're not going to be as sore. So leg day is gonna be a lot more manageable and you're gonna feel like you can keep working harder. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave any comments down below and I'll see you guys soon, bye.